Hello, good afternoon and in this uh, special uh, session on YouTube, we are going to discuss a, a specific question which I had already answered on Quora and uh, I thought uh, some few elements uh, need to be more uh, come out. That's why I am giving this answer. So the question is, which cement is better for use in slabs? Is it PPC or OPC? Portland, Pozzolana cement or ordinary Portland cement? Which is better as people are asking? So, uh, I have used uh, both these uh, OPC and PPC at uh, individual sites. Uh, my career spans from 1976 up to 2018. So, you calculate how many years, 24 and 18, it becomes 42 years. So, during this 42 years, I have used the OPC of even grade 33 I have used. Nowadays, you know that grade 33 is not uh, available, is not produced anymore. We have only grade 43 grade 53 in OPC and uh, PPC in grade 33. But uh, you must remember one point in PPC that uh, this grade is never mentioned on the bag. This you have to know that any PPC cement is always grade 33, okay, although it is not mentioned on the bag. Now let us see what are the basic characteristics. Some uh, uh, chemical uh, or uh, heat evolution point of view, first let us see. The setting process of PPC is slower than OPC. Now, what is this uh, setting process? That means, the initial setting time, the final setting time, if you compare OPC and PPC, then you will find that PPC has got more or longer setting period. Which means what? It affects the de-shuttering period, the striking of period. That means any slab less than 4.5 meter in span, if you are opening in 7 days using the OPC, if you are using the PPC, then you can open the slab after 10 days. 50% increase in the uh, de-shuttering period. That means the total length of the project will get increased. You got it? Because the de-shuttering period has, in has increased, so therefore what happens? The removal period uh, of slabs, slab shuttering gets extended and therefore each floor wise if you keep on adding, then the total project, project gets uh, extended. That is first limitation. Second limitation, second uh, limitation, I don't know whether we should say it limitation or not, that uh, I think this is a advantage, that PPC has a low heat emission process as compared to OPC. Now, what is the reason? In OPC, the in OPC, the cement uh, particles are finer as compared to PPC. So, finer cement particles tend to get reacted more frequently in a in, in a fast pace, and therefore, what happens that the heat evolution becomes faster, increased. So, which produces finer shrinkage cracks on the RCC slab. So, whenever on the next day you go and visit a freshly cast RCC slab, if it is cast in OPC 43 or specially in OPC 53, then you would invariably see a finer cracks, micro cracks developed on the surface of the slab. But does not uh, it uh, do not worry about that, Th those cracks will disappear maybe after a week or so, 
don't worry about that but the micro cracks are there and those micro cracks are not seen in case of ppc okay now secondly normally whenever we use a nominal mix let us say we are using a nominal mix of 1 1 and 1/2 and and 3 ek der tin 1 1.5 is to 3 so what is the your normal assumption that this will give you a strength of m20 how that uh, assumption has come it has come because of empirical data empirical data means what that with a long experience we have been experimenting with various cements and the results say that if you use the nominal mix of 1 1 and 1/2 and, and 3 then we will get a uh, cement uh, concrete compressive strength equivalent to m20 but is it the right assumption no why because in earlier times when the empirical data was collected those times the cement used was of opc grade 33 so these results have been arrived with the grade 33 now instead of grade 33 which is not used nowadays if you are using grade 43 or grade 53 then naturally the strength of the concrete which you are getting through this nominal mix 1 1.5 is to 3 will be much more you got it but comparatively if you use the same nominal mix for ppc with ppc then the results are comparable that means if you use 1 1.5 is to 3 with ppc then naturally you are going to get a strength of m20 slightly around m20 that is the advantage okay got it now how to overcome uh, this uh, this limitation of the nominal mix we should i strongly advise that we should go for a design mix if you go for a design mix then the uh, laboratory they consider all the aspects all the properties of cements and aggregates and when they actually test they carry out the test at the laboratory they know that what is the exact strength of the cement which we have given to them and accordingly they will prepare the design mix for you okay so i strongly recommend that whenever you have got a long project a major project a big project that time you must get the design mix prepared and do the entire concreting based on that design mix that will always save certain quantity of cement that is guaranteed okay so in the context of the above discussions i would say it is preferable to use ppc why because number 1 it is environment friendly why it is environment friendly because if you had visited any of the thermal power plants then you would find that lot of burnt ash is accumulated around the premises if you visit lots of heaps mountains and hills will be there of flash this flash ash when flows in the air carries out environmental pollution you got it ppc is the cement which actively uses this flash ash and therefore it helps us in reduction of this flash ash from our environment that is first point second point it is certainly economically attractive to you there will always be a price difference between opc and ppc ppc per bag you can certainly achieve a saving of 5 rupees to 7 rupees 5 to 7 rupees depending on the local availability and the manufacturer you select so project wise it is certainly attractive third thing ppc is low heat generates lesser heat and that's why it produces a crack free surface and the fourth point is the extra time which we spend in de-shattering 
can be certainly compensated by by proper uh, project crushing that means if you really plan all the activities then you will find that although the deshuttering period has increased but because you have economized on other activities so overall project doesn't get delayed got it so in essence if you are do you like uh, this uh, basic uh, idea of uh, my explaining the kora question kora answer okay and uh, before closing i would like to just put one small point which is regarding the color if you compare the colors of opc and ppc uh, i find that uh, opc is more attractive to uh, to i it is greenish uh, whereas ppc is <coughs> whitish or yellowish gray sometimes it gives a different finish so remember one thing whatever cement you want to use use it completely that means if you are taking one slab use opc entirely if you are using ppc use for the entire slab ppc only otherwise you will see the color patches okay i hope this brings uh, further clarity into your thoughts thank you so much if you like this video do subscribe to my channel this encourages me and this inspires me and do write down your queries in the comment section below so that i am so that i can uh, answer to your queries okay guys thank you so much thank you thank you for listening to me patiently thank you so much bye bye take care have a nice day